Okay, I'm going to show you how to build some four foot round pins. They're going to be four foot tall, four foot round. And what I use is the 14 gauge wire. I usually get uh, 50 foot for 36 or $7 at co-op. And what you want to do is you want to cut a piece 12 foot long, which is actually 72 of these squares. And on the 73rd square, I always cut it to where it's got that hanging over. Then you can just wrap it around to hold all the way down. And then you can just cut these off after you get done. And that'll give you a four foot circle. So that'll be a four foot uh, round pin. And then I take, uh, you need another piece for the top, which is a four by four, four foot tall, four foot wide, which is 24 of these squares. 24 squares be four foot. Then I'll use that for the top. And then all you do is just lay it up on top. And what I do is I use this as a starting point. And I'm get you some pieces of wire. That's how I do it. And what you want to do is find the center, which is 12 of these over. You'll count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The 12th wire, what I do is I wire it to it. What you need, you'll need pliers to do this. They use needle nose. Okay, that's your, that'll give you a starting point. And then what you want to do is get another piece of wire. And you want to count half of this, which is 36 of these. Here's your 36th one. That's exactly straight across from that one. So you'll take the 12th one on this one. Which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. And then you just wire those two together. That gets you right dead center. Okay, now what you want to do, I've already got one that's, uh, that's got the top on it, but that's what you want to do to find your center. You want to make sure you center it all up. That makes it, you know, easier to do. Then what you want to do is you want to start back here again. You want to count 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Then on your 18th one, You want to count, let's see, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. You need to count 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. This is your 6th one. And you want to do it that way. Same for the other side over there. You come over here and you count 18 over from here. Then your 6th one and then you'll wire them together. Basically what it's going to come out to look like is this. This is the very back. You can see where I started. And I took and went eight over, which is eight altogether. There's four over from here. One, two, three, four. And then I stopped. I wired it. Four over from here and wired it. So you have eight in the back. Same way with the front. You have eight. Here's the middle. One, two, three, four. That's the last one I wired. One, two, three, four. Last one in the wire. Then basically what you do, I used to cut it off. 
but I don't cut it off anymore. I just I just pull it down. You pull it down, just wire it to it. You know, and you can wire it as many times as you want through here. I've not got this one all the way done, all the way wired. And then you do that for each corner. Each corner is wired down. And then basically what happens is when you do that, you'll have, I do four here on each side, that side and this side. That way what it does is it gives you some support. You know, when you rain, you ain't gotta worry about it pushing down on the top. This, you know, it's pretty stout. So uh, you're able to put a tarp on it. Um, next, I'm gonna show you how to put a door uh, or how I put a door on it. Some people might do it different, but I'll show you show you next how to put a door on it. Okay, here's how I do the doors. Uh, it's actually 10 across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. It's five up. One, two, three, four, five. And on each end, I always leave the little tags hanging over. That way I can put them on there. And then basically what I do is I put it up to it and then I usually cut out. You know, I leave the top overlapped, the bottom overlapped. I cut out a square. Of course I've already cut this one. It looks like that. That way you have a hole in it. That way when you put these on, put the door on, it overlaps the top, it overlaps the bottom. This end, you just wrap the little tags around. And then on this end over here, when you get it shut, just wrap the tags around. And I'll show you what it looks like when I get done. Okay, got them wired on, as you can see. You just open the door, shut the door, and you just pull it over to it. What I do is I just wrap these around. I've got some that's got clips on them. That way, you know, I can't open up. That's how you put a door on them, or that's how I put a door on them. Some people might do them different. Some people don't even use a door. They just, you know, pull up from the bottom and, and catch them out of the bottom. But I like the door myself. Uh, like I say, when you get done, you can come back and uh, cut all these little tags. It's, that way nobody, none of them gets, nobody gets poked and the birds don't get poked and hurt or injured. Uh, so that's basically how to put a top on one, how to put the door on one, and then I'm gonna show you, I cover them with the blue tarps, which they only last about a year. Uh, I'm fixing to start trying to find something a little bit heavier duty. Uh, I don't like the black uh, tire paper. It just gets too hot here. Put the black tire paper on there. It just seems like the black draws heat. It just gets the, the foul just way too hot. So um, I started using white tarps on a lot of my other ones, but uh, right now I've got some blue tarps and I'll show you how to put them on. Go over here to another pen that I've already got done. Okay, here's one that I've got finished. Uh, it's got the blue tarp on it. I've not got the door on this one yet. Uh, I just made it real quick the other day to, to throw a hand in. Uh, but you can see, it's got the blue tarp on it. And you can see, you know, the top keeps it from, uh, you know, when you put a top on it like I do, it keeps it from uh, swagging down, you know, and if you get, you know, rain on it, you know, push it down. But basically, this is a blue tarp that, uh, it's an eight by 10, it's just cut in half. Uh, it's uh, four foot this way and 10 foot this way down the back. And then basically all you do is, uh, all I done was uh, wired it on, you know, to the eyelets. You know, if it ain't got an eyelet, I just poke a hole in it. And then kind of just tuck it, wire it all the way, you know, as much as you can, all the way around. So basically, that's it. Uh, that's uh, that's how I build my my round pins. Uh, I've got several of them, and still need several more. 
So uh, hopefully this will help people that uh, want to build some round pins. Like I say, this is four foot tall, four foot round, uh, 14 gauge wire. And like I say, I get it at co-op. I give 36 or $37 for a 50 foot row. 50 foot row will make three four foot round pins. And you will have just a little bit left over. Not, not really enough to do anything with though. But uh, 50 foot row will make three of these. Uh, and basically I've got, uh, I think I calculated it up one time, I've got $17 in each pin after they're made. So, and, and they do good. The only thing is uh, the, the blue tarps don't last as long as I'd like them to. But uh, hopefully this helps somebody. Thanks.